it's more polish polish Hey guys, it's Crystal and today I've got the Life Aquatic Collection from Polish. This is a six polish uh, foil flaky set. It is gorgeous. It was released I think a month and a half, two months ago, but I didn't get around to swatching it until just now. And right now only four of the colors are available, but they're going to be restocking the whole collection at some point, probably after Polish Con. We're going to start off with Space Oddity. This is a gorgeous iced lavender color with like this this hint of almost pink in it I don't know I just I felt like I was seeing little pink glitters in the macros and everything it's really pretty in bright lighting this looks almost ice blue with just a hint of purple in it you know that lavender hint but it's gorgeous these all go on really well in two coats some of the colors don't even seem to really need two coats but if you look here, they do go on a little sheer at first, so it doesn't seem like they're going to just take two coats, but they do. Trust me. You'll see. You don't have to trust me. Just watch the video. <laughs> here you see how they dry darker. That's what I mean by some of them just, like, they're really deceptive. They go on and they look really sheer, but then when they dry, they're much darker. And they even cover that ugly nail tip I got going on. So I have really short nail beds, so I got really weird looking nail tips. <laughs> Look at all that shimmery shininess. It's so gorgeous. And here you can see that hint of like silver in it. Next up is Lady Stardust. This is a really, really, really beautiful deep purple. I think it's described on the side as amethyst, but you know, amethyst is a purple and I love purple. This one is my favorite because it's purple and I just love it. I didn't think I was going to like all of these because I, when I put them on for the tutorials, I had micro glitter all over my hands and I was like, uh, this is not fun. What is this? But that was because I was sponging them on both times like an idiot. And so of course I have micro glitter all over my hands. If you get it on your hands though, you can use tape or just like a nail brush and scrub it off. It comes off easy. I just don't like messiness. You wouldn't know that though if you looked at my workstation at the end of some of my tutorials when I show it. It's a disaster. Here you can see when it goes on, this one goes on at first. It looks like sort of a pinkish purple blend. But it takes that second coat and it looks gorgeous. Completely perfect, completely purple. It's got me falling in love. Next up is Team Zisu, and I hope I said that right. Uh, this entire collection is based off recording sessions for the Life Aquatic soundtrack, I think. I don't want to say like the Life Aquatic CD because nobody uses CDs anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm really old that I actually still have some CDs. <laughs> So I don't actually know if I said that right. Zisu, Zisau. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's not aquamarine, but it's not teal. It's kind of a turquoise. It's a turquoise that leans more towards the like, bluish side. But it's pretty. Look, I didn't smear it on my cuticles. Score one for me. Don't worry, I'm going to lose that point later because I smear other stuff on my cuticles. You can see here, this is really pretty in the second coat. It just becomes this darker, beautiful color. And the photos here are all shown with top coat, but this doesn't really need a top coat to be shiny. It does have a minor texture without a top coat, but it's not an annoying texture. So if you don't want to top coat it, that's fine. I just always suggest top coat because it keeps stuff from chipping. You know, wrap it up, base coat, top coat, it's all in there. Next up is Life on Mars. This is a gorgeous burnt orange is what I want to call it, but it's almost like a rose gold, if we're being really honest. It's, I don't know, 
It's really orange, but it's also kind of gold. It's it's hard to describe. It's so beautiful. I have this problem with a lot of polishes, polishes. Haha, <laughs> polishes, polishes. That's a pun that everyone's probably heard before. Anyways. <laughs> This is really gorgeous. This went on really well on one coat. I didn't really need to. I just slapped the second on to see if it did anything for it. It was pretty much the same and still pretty. So I put a second coat on apparently for funsies. But I do really love this one. And I'm not a big orange fan. Oranges and yellows aren't my jam. But here you can see it looks more rose gold and like that bright direct sunlight bulbs. Next up is Rebel Rebel. This is, um, I know people are going to call it a lime green, but it's not lime green. It's more of an olive green color. And this goes on really well in two coats. And this is the one that I thought was going to take three. This one and the next one, Life on Mars. I definitely thought were going to be three coaters. Because they are lighter colors. And I was like, uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I, I was definitely prepared to go on for three, but they took two just like the others completely opaque none of the nail tip showing no issues i mean they really exceeded expectations i feel like i say that about a lot of polishes maybe i just have really low expectations for nail polish <laughs> i should have higher expectations for things set the bar high so i can be disappointed later <laughs> no i'd rather set it low and be pleasantly surprised i think we can all agree on that See, this one could have probably even gone on in just one coat. If you look there at how it darkened, if you caught that, it's so pretty. I could definitely see me using this for, like, flowers or something. I'm not sure. Maybe flowers. Maybe not flowers. All kinds of stuff. See that prettiness? And last, we have quicksand. This is a sort of... I don't it's kind of pink but it's a pink that to me leans more towards being like a purple baby doll pink with or a baby doll pink with a hint of purple purple baby doll pink that's not a color <laughs> jeez I can't words this morning guys it's not working out for me this is really pretty this goes on dries a little darker just like all the others and this one is a stunner. I've actually used them all in gradients together. Well, not the whole set, but like three polishes at a time in gradients together. And they all gradient together well. And they're gorgeous. I just, ah, uh, I'm in love. Well, I'm in love with most things shiny. But these are shiny and beautiful colors. If they made like a collection with this flaky foil finish that was the rainbow... I would probably be like across the country at their doorstep going, oh, I need the second or at least. Not gonna lie. There you have it. It's a beautiful collection. I'm gonna link the colors that are available in the shop right now. Um, in the Facebook fan group, they did post that the whole collection was gonna be restocked. So when that happens, I'll probably update the description of this video to let you guys know. Because I did check that before making it. I didn't want to tell you to buy polishes that aren't ever going to be there. But they have Polish Con coming up and everything. So they're really busy and stuff right now. Yay, Polish Con next week. This week. No, yeah, this week. I'm an idiot, guys. Sorry. Yay, Polish Con this week. <laughs> Anyways, as usual, thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.